Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a lot of decluttering, reorganizing, and just cleaning out some spaces that I've been putting off for a long time. So I'm mainly gonna be focusing on our downstairs storage closets where we store a lot of the kids' crafts and just like miscellaneous stuff. It has gotten really bad. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you guys a little bit of cooking in today's video and what we're gonna be having for dinner. And I wanted to thank National Pork Board for sponsoring today's video. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of both, cooking, cleaning, organizing, all of the above. Um, but I've been putting this off for a really long time, so I'm really excited to finally tackle it. Um, spaces like this, like our storage closets, um, my pantry and stuff, I usually will go through and reorganize it about once a year. Um, and I did a video back on this when I was like 38 weeks pregnant, I think, with Grayson. I was really heavily pregnant with him. And I reorganized our storage closet. So it's been almost a year. So we're going to do that today. I'm really excited to finally get this done. But I'm going to show you guys really quick what we plan on having for dinner tonight. I'm starving, so I cannot wait to get started on cooking dinner. So as you guys know, I've recently been taking a closer look at my diet and making a lot healthier choices. And fresh pork is an excellent source of nutrients and a great source of lean protein. And it's also packed with tons of flavor. Fresh pork pairs really well with a variety of different profiles depending on which seasonings and marinades that you use. Adam and I like to use seasoning salt before we grill it and it always turns out amazing. Per three ounce serving, pork loin is about 159 calories and pork sirloin is 173 calories and both contain 24 grams of protein. For tonight's dinner, Adam and I decided on pork chops. For flavorful, tender, and safe pork, cook whole muscle cuts until a meat thermometer reads 145 degrees followed by a three minute rest. The most delicious pork is not overcooked and a common misconception is that pork has to be cooked until the juices run clear, which is false. And a standard determined by the USDA and FDA food code, pork is safe when cooked at 145 degrees in which meat will be a light blush pink color. Now I'm gonna rinse and cut up some potatoes and broccoli to have as a side dish with our pork. I'll link these recipes that I use below if you guys are interested, but they're super quick and easy and the kids loved it too. Thank you to the National Pork Board again for sponsoring today's video. Incorporate pork into your healthy, balanced diet. Visit the website at www.pork.org forward slash cooking forward slash to learn more. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what our downstairs storage closet looks like and just be warned, it's really bad. So let me turn the light on so you guys can see. So it used to be really organized in here and now it looks like pure chaos. So even the floor is like piled high with stuff. Um, I'm going to start taking everything out and just get to it and just organize it the best I can. I don't think I'm going to take everything out all at once. I'm probably just going to do like little sections here and there. I'll, I'll get like really overwhelmed. Um, 
But yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna set my camera up on the tripod and get to work. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go. All we need to put on is the radio. So I decided to start from the bottom and work my way up. And I honestly don't even know how this closet got this bad, but I think the main reason is because there wasn't enough space for us to grow. So I knew I wanted to downsize a lot so we had more space. cleared out a lot of what was down here on the floor and it already looks like way better. I don't think this is going to take me as long as I thought it was, but I have so many bags. So I'm going to go through all the bags and donate the ones that I don't use and figure out a way to store them a little better because they were just in this basket and I have too many. So the basket's not going to work. I'm probably going to hang them up on hangers or something and put them in our other storage closet, but I'm gonna go through these and figure out which ones I can donate and which ones I wanna keep. I'm curious to know what area in your guys' home is the hardest place for you to keep clean and organized because mine is definitely our storage closets and my goal after this video is to keep up with them and purge things before I add something new. But let me know in the comments if you're like me or if you have a different spot that's hard for you guys to keep up on. Okay, so we went through all of my bags and decided to keep um, these and then Adam's hanging up one in our other storage closet. We're gonna put them on hangers and hang them up instead of putting them in here. So the only thing that we're keeping in here are just like little bags, um, stroller hooks, and then these lap mats for road trips. So um, only keeping like four. And then this is other stuff that was on the floor. This is all basically seasonal stuff that we're gonna store in our attic. I really want to order a few more of these clear organizers because as you can see they're pretty full and I want to be able to have space to grow so I don't set myself up for failure and it ends up getting all organized a few months later. Are you missing it? 
A lot of the girls artwork that I want to save I'm gonna put in these clear file containers that I ordered recently and I had labeled for each of our kids so that I can put all their stuff along with like important school documents etc but I didn't do that in this video I'm gonna save that for a later time because I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot longer to do Okay, moving on to our second storage closet. I'm gonna show you guys the after of all these spaces at the end, so stay tuned because the afters are amazing. But this is our second storage closet, which is supposed to be used for coats, but as you can see, we just threw random stuff that didn't fit in our other closet into this one. And after going through it all, I realized the majority of the stuff that was in this space, we didn't even need or use.
Now I'm just gonna straighten up the junk drawer in our kitchen. It wasn't too bad, but I like to make sure I stay on top of this drawer because we use it every day and I like to make sure it stays really organized. This drawer is basically a second junk drawer that's right off of that coat closet and it was starting to get really bad too so I'm just going to quickly straighten this up and then the cabinets above it which store all of our camera gear and miscellaneous cords and stuff. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you Baby, let me love you. Okay, I'm finally finished with everything, so I'm gonna show you guys what the afters look like. So I'm gonna show you our storage closet where we keep a lot of the kids' stuff. So look how much better it looks in here, you guys. I'm so happy with how this turned out, and it did not take as long as I thought it was. So down here, I just have, um, I got rid of a lot of bags, and the bags that I do have, I'll show you where I'm keeping them. Um, but I have some travel headphones for the kids and then mostly just stroller hooks and then those lap mats back there. Um, and this one I'm gonna keep like seasonal crafts for the kids so that they're easy to grab. Um, and then over here I have um, memorabilia stuff for the kids that I wanna put in bins but I don't have bins right now so I need to go to the store and get those. But that will be empty so I'll have a lot more space in here for other things. Um, chalk over here outside stuff like bubbles and stuff and then this bin is kind of like miscellaneous I have a lot of like Easter stuff in there and I decided to keep it in this bin because Easter is coming up so we have like some plastic eggs I have like random pumpkins back there this is kind of like a catch-all and then I have our letter board right here to grab whenever we need it um, and then and this I have a bunch of gift bags so all of these are gift bags so I can just grab those if we need them I have bows in here and um, tags for gifts I have um, like yarn craft stuff there's like paint um, my label makers back there random stuff but everything's all organized I love these um, clear bins so you can see everything I have tape in here some ribbon this is all like gift wrap stuff yeah, gift wrapping. And then this one has party supplies, so balloons, um, forks and spoons and candles and straws and everything party related is in there. And then craft supplies are in this one. Um, coloring supplies are in here, so color pencils, markers, and there's stickers in the back right there. Um, and then up here, I have coloring books, paper, and then kids learning. And then back here I have Play-Doh, Play-Doh molds are up there, and then some shape cutouts for baking. Sometimes the girls use those for Play-Doh too, so I have those all right there for easy access when they wanna play with that. Um, and then over here, I just went through all of these and kind of organized them a lot better. So I have some memorabilia. This box contains um, most of the stuff that my dad sends the girls, like all the cards that he sends and the letters that he writes them those are in there um subscriber mail photos and then this is 
just like those clear sheets. I don't really know where to put those. I should probably put those in my office, but I just have them up here. And then I have the kids' Easter baskets, which just reminded me to place Grayson's order. I got these um, online, and I just placed his order like an hour ago. So this reminded me to do that because Easter is coming up, like I just said. So I'm glad I got that out of the way because I totally would have forgotten. But all this space up here for whatever I want to put up there. There's so much more room in here, and I love that we can actually walk in here now. Um, because before you could not at all. Um, I forgot down here there's um, wrapping paper. I love this bin too. Um, it stores them all really well in there. So that is our storage closet. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Now I'll show you guys our other storage closet because that looks way better too. So over here, this was mostly just like trash, honestly. Um, so we got rid of a ton of stuff in here and this is where I hang up all of my extra diaper bags. Um, all that stuff up there is stuff for like my business, tax stuff, just like important documents that we need. Um, we really need to get a like filing cabinet to store all that. So that is definitely on my to-do list. And then this is like an ancient computer of Adam's that he doesn't want to part with. There's a lot of stuff on there that um, is really important to him. So we just have that like down at the bottom, but there's barely anything in here now. So, so much more room in here as well and then we also went through this cupboard and organized our cords and stuff a little bit better this wasn't too bad but it looks a lot better now everything's all organized and labeled and then right below it is kind of like a second junk drawer so we store like a lot of our batteries in here some extra chargers for our phones and our ipads some extra light bulbs excess change letters for our letter board, um, just random things in here. But this started to get really cluttered too, so I'm glad I finally organized that. So this junk drawer is in our kitchen right next to our fridge, and it basically just has like what every junk drawer has. So pens, we have extra hand sanitizer in the back. Um, I use these hair ties on the girls in the morning, so I just have them in here for easy access. Some screwdrivers we use on the daily, um, glue, tape, calculator, um, bottle openers, uh, lighters, stuff like that. But this was starting to get out of hand too, so I just wanted to make sure we stayed on top of it, and now it looks a lot better. But that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really happy with how much I was able to get done. I was not expecting to tackle both those junk drawers, the one in our kitchen and the one by our laundry room. Um, I wasn't planning on reorganizing our electronic cabinet, even though it wasn't too bad. There was a few things out of place. Um, but I did all of that plus the two storage closets. So <laughs> I'm really happy with the turnout. I hope you guys enjoyed it and gave you some motivation to tackle spaces in your home that you've been putting off for quite some time now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you again to National Pork Board for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you.